What's up, everybody? This is Matt from American Patriot News, and right next to me is Romeo. And today we have an article for you guys from Gateway Pundit. And it's talking about a judge in Florida has dismissed a case trying to take Trump off the ballot in Florida. Cool. Let's get into this here. Federal judge dismisses case trying to keep Trump off the 2024 ballot. A federal judge on Friday dismissed a lawsuit filed by a Florida... Florida lawyer who claimed Trump should be banned from the 2024 ballot for inciting an, an insurrection. The legal theory is based on Section 3 of the U.S. Constitution's 14th Amendment, which states public officials who have, quote, engaged in an insurrection or rebellion against the U.S. may be disqualified from holding public office. Trump has not been charged with engaging in an insurrection or rebellion against the United States. Judge Robin Rosenberg, a district judge for the Southern District of Florida, ruled the attorney, Lawrence Kaplan, lacked standing to bring the lawsuit. Good. Plaintiffs lack standing to challenge defendants' qualifications for seeking the presidency. Rosenberg, an Obama, Obama appointee, wrote, adding that the injuries alleged from the insurrection on Capitol Hill more than two years ago are not cognizable and not particular to them. The judge also said that an individual citizen does not have standing to challenge whether another individual is qualified to hold public office. So that's... Uh... Pretty much the end of that in Florida. Uh, it's I think it's le left a little window open for maybe someone else to challenge it when they feel like they have standing, such as when he's actually going to be on the ballot. But uh, I think even then, the judge pretty much squashed that as well with his decision, saying one person does not determine who's uh, who's qualified to be uh, on the ballot. Not only that, but the very essence and spirit of the 14th Amendment was to prevent, uh, it goes back to the Civil War, to prevent the Southern states from putting in members of Congress or a president that took part in the Civil War, that took up arms against the United States. Yep. These are two vastly different things. And besides that, the FBI has looked at January 6th and they have said unequivocally that it's not an insurrection. So this is all an, more boob bait for the Bubba's. And this is, and when I'm saying Bubba's, I mean the liberal Bubba's with no brains um, and no morals. Yeah. This was a left wing lawyer that was probably paid by the Democrat Party to test this theory in Florida. That's what it was. It was a test to see if they could actually, how far they could go. And they didn't go very far with it. Not only that, they tested in Arizona, we know of now, and it's being tested in New Hampshire now. And I feel in the New Hampshire case, we're going to find out pretty soon it's going to be thrown out as well. I agree. I agree with you. And it's other than the open. Obama appointed, appointed judge in the Southern District of Florida. Uh, it seems to me Florida wasn't the place to try this. Yeah. Well, uh, I would. Th the thing is, I would think, uh, in my opinion, I would think uh, Arizona would be a place to try it, and it didn't even work in Arizona. And that tells you that tells you everything you need to know, especially with their the, uh, the uh, Secretary of State there being as far left as he is. Yeah, and, you know, this reminds me of Tucker Carlson's conversation the other day. And if the deep state keeps failing at every avenue to keep him off the ballot, I think what uh, Tucker said about potential assassination, and again, we're speculating, but our country has a, has a history of, um, let's take JFK for an example, uh, he stood against the intelligence agencies, wanted to, quote, dismantle him and scatter him to the wind, and he ended up assassinated. So, yeah, I do agree with Tucker, and I, I fear for Trump's life. But uh, I think uh, I think uh, their next move after this is obviously probably going to be uh, going to uh, really blue states and getting them off the ballot, tried to get them off there. And it, it's going to be progressively going uh, that direction. Also, yeah, yeah. they don't have to assassinate them. They, uh, all they have to do is care to, uh, care to assassinate them. 
to the point where he can't run the country at that point, make him illegitimate, like they tried to do in 2016. And I think that's probably going to be their next plan. The yeah, thing is, right when it comes, that, they're going to try it again. This tactic of having him removed from the ballot and take it to court. I'm thinking New York or California will be among yeah. the next tech stones. The the thing is, they don't want to make him into a martyr, and that's what an assassination would do. And I think they don't want that. That just makes him even bigger than he already is. Now that'll, that'll put him up there with uh JFK, uh Lincoln. And they don't want that. They don't want him up there with those guys. But Especially even more, they don't want him to be president. No, I, I actually I think they fear that him being up there in the top tier of presidents with JFK and and uh, uh, with uh, Lincoln than they do actually him being president again. I think they fear that because in the in the history books would show how good of a president he was in his, in his first term. And and the thing is, if they assassinate him before his second term, just like they did with Lincoln, just like they did with uh, uh, RFK Jr., he fits that mold. And they're scared of that happening. And they don't want that to happen. So assassination is off the table, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. I, I've got you. It's a good argument. I guess time will tell, right? Yeah. Well, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Please hit the like button, comment, and share this out to everybody. We really appreciate it. We'll be live Monday morning at 930 Central Standard. Please join us. It's going to be a wonderful show. Guys, have a wonderful Saturday.